uh, the, Fal the Falco Samus matchup, and he said for a while he like really wants to play Dodge, and he thinks that he's like ready for the upset. Word, oh, word is you say you don't watch anime. I actually don't even know what anime is. Um, do you agree with Yo-Yo at four? Yeah, it looks a little wonky, but he has the best like honestly, he has the best record out of like most people that were in the top three last split. Oh my god, dude, Ginger is getting the hands right now. From okay, the all right, yeah, let's let's see what's going on here. Yeah, Ginger and uh, Beach were pushed into the corner, but they did a really good job getting center stage back. Yo, the weird thing about this team is um Ginger Beach is usually when Sheik Falco is a team. Like I think I've seen like Drug Fox Pup happen before. Yes. Like, yeah. and uh, I think usually the the Sheik the Sheik is the initiator, right? Yeah. But with this team, it's like. Um, Falco Ginger, Ginger initiates like most yeah. of the time, and Beach kind of like stays back. It's interesting because these are both like pretty like in your face aggressive players. Like even Beach with Sheik, he's like, yeah. And usually the if you have an aggressive Sheik, like they'll be taking the lead with Falco on your team, but usually it's Ginger. So yeah. Oh, did you see that? Yeah, that was insane. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. The interesting thing about the Sheik Falco team in general is that they really don't have great like kill power. They don't have things like Fox Up Smash or a rest or something like that. They right. really have to earn a lot of their kills, and Beach and Ginger remedy that by having really good team combat. Dude, that was that was actually amazing by Duck. He just sat there waiting for them because like Ice was recovering, right? And he just literally sat there until someone moved forward and tried to get the ledge, and he just immediately upbeat. Like he set up like a really good like reactive wall. Yeah, but pretty impressive. Duck's, look at Duck's stock count right now. Yeah, they're actually doing a really good job neutralizing the Samus. And they're definitely the team with much better team synergy. I mean, Duck and uh, Ice have probably never even played teams together before this tournament. So they teamed once at Gommel, and then Duck didn't show in, like, right, in right. time, and they got DQ'd. Right, but they never actually teamed together. Yeah. What I'm really seeing, though, is that, like, Green Team is just giving up the middle. Yeah. Like, they're really getting pushed to the corner, which, like, against the Samus, the way that Samus is going to hurt you in teams is just these two-hit quick combos. And if yeah. you're going to get hit by those, you want to be in the center of the stage. Right. Like, getting down smash off the stage is, like, horrifying. It's, it's so rough. Especially when there's, like, it's not just the Samus waiting for you when, you when you get back, it's a box. And if yeah. you're Sheik, you have so much lag on your recovery, like, you get down smash off the stage, you can't get to the ledge, you're probably going to die. Yeah. Oh, my Oh, here goodness. it is. Oh, oh my, god. my god, that was nasty. Beach living though. Duck looking um, like a like a fat fox on the other side of the stage. So I teamed with Ice for like an hour at, like last week. Um, this dude, so you know how people always describe teaming with S Fat? It's really similar with Ice. Like he does all the work. It's so easy. He gives you everything on a silver platter. He can like fight the other two people by himself half the time. Like we we're playing against like good players too, like KJH, uh, Ginger, etc. And he was like doing everything for me. So even a character like Samus who can't really get in the mix and tussle, I feel like with Ice on his team, all he has to do is like, Ice will give him the layup and he just has to put it in the hoop and it's easy. What? Yeah. Well, the big thing is that like, on a, on a team combo like this, the Samus really just wants to like be annoying. The Fox has to do the brunt of the work. Yeah. So it's really good to have a Fox that's like really comfortable when he's doing like Ice's. Like he's right. just kind of walking wherever he wants and throwing out hitboxes. The team just can't deal with it. Clean three stock. Yeah, victory. they kept him out for the center of the stage so well. It's actually nuts. It's actually amazing to me that that game was that close because it felt really not close. Yeah, especially I felt like Beach spent a lot of the time off of the stage. Yeah, <laughs> and that's like obviously not a good place for Sheik to be. Yeah, where do you think they're gonna go? Probably Yoshi's, right? Um, Yoshi's is feel... good. It's scary because um, you give Samus like Samus, like I said, doesn't have really any good kill setups and doubles. They either take too long or they're just not real. Yeah. So like, get, putting on a smaller stage allows her to kill with like down smash or That's forward smash earlier. But at the same time, their characters should be more comfortable than Yoshi's. And, and like you were saying earlier, it's harder for this team too. They don't have a fox, you know. They can't get the quick kills, so like, um, this stage makes that a little bit yeah. easier. And like, Duck is a player I know doesn't like the stage. Um, whereas I think both Peach and Ginger like it a lot. So there's definitely yeah. like that player read going Ooh. on here. I know like, you know, when I'm playing Beach, or Duck, I would rather take him to this stage than FD, even though like FD is probably the better stage in the matchup. Right. Oh, you see that bomb? Wow, that actually Yeah, that was hurt. crazy. If I picked up on that, that might have been a kill, actually. Yeah. Oh, that sucks, actually. Hit ice with the missile. You know, another thing is that, like, it's not normally talked about because it's kind of like cheese, but, um, you know, Yoshi's does create a lot of chaos. And, like, I think that most people are sitting here and thinking blue team is the better team. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And the chaos can benefit you a lot. If you're just looking to pick up a game. It's, it's an interesting dynamic, right? Like, a lot of people say that, and then I hear, like, now I hear, like, the meta is, like, no, Yoshi's doesn't have, like, that much chaos if you actually know what you're doing in teams. But, like, honestly, yeah. I don't know. I have no idea. I mean, you can say that, but it can happen. But, like, yeah, you know, shit can just happen in teams. Like, you could just die at Samus down smash poorly and die at, like, 30. Yeah, like, exactly. It just Always, yep, oh, he's my dead. God. Yeah. <laughs> Clean stock from Ginger. We got a tie game now. Ginger loves those setups. He spent, I feel like he spends so much time, like, memorizing all the percents and stuff when he can kill floaties off the top on every stage. Yeah. Uh, that's the kind of player he is. One thing that I really like that Ginger's doing is when um, Ice or... Um, 
Duck gets Ginger or Beach in a knockdown, he's really not hesitant to just like down air everyone. Like yeah. just go in and throw out a hitbox, and then Beach can roll away and she can use like her big shield to get out of the situation. So Ooh. scary. Beach trying to get off the ledge while Ice is just sitting there threatening him. Look at here it is again. He's like he spends so much time off the stage and like when he's coming back, Ice is right there to threaten him. It's terrifying as she Yeah, really good recovery though by Beach. He managed to get out of it on the stage. He spent there it is, like again, like he spent the last like, you know, twenty five seconds or so off the stage. Every time he gets back, Ice hits him off oh. again. And here he comes back and Ice is already all over him yeah. once again. Ooh, I love that back there. It's down smash. Sometimes, especially when you're behind, you just feel like you really have to just hit the, the other team. You stop doing loop and control. And I see yeah. like, Beach really just running at the other team and throwing out aerials. So right. Ice is just punishing every time. Uh, Ice accidentally does a slow get up. Yeah. Ginger are doing a good job keeping, keeping them out of the center of the stage. Oh my god. Ooh. That was actually kind of crazy. Oh, Ginger wanted to convert that kill. Oh, oh. Ice with a beautiful punish on Doug. <laughs> Absolutely destroying his teammate's stock. Oh, wow. That was that was amazing, actually. Dude, ice, ice is all over Beach this game. It's, yeah. Oh, that's ugly. Yeah. Not good. Yeah. Not good for the confidence. Not only just, like, bad, as in, like, not legal, but really not good for your confidence. He doesn't, and he doesn't end up taking the stock. I, I think he figured Ginger's dead anyway. You want yeah. him to do the 2v1. It's kind of a grim situation anyway at this point. So. Yeah. Beach actually is gone for the player count. <laughs> he's left the venue after that one pause, and yeah. he's gone. Uh, and th this is just going to be cleanup duty. Um, if you're ginger, if you're beach, or if you're ginger, you like to actually stay alive a little longer just to like talk to your teammate and see what's going on. Yeah. But uh, he's going to get cleaned up real quick by that down smash. Damn, Ice going in right now. Six kills. Yeah. Seven on duck. <laughs> Seven with the one on duck. Oh, uh, yeah. Ice is a monster in teams. Yeah. Pause immediately turned off. <laughs> yeah. Get this out of my face. Do you see any change ups or they're just gonna go back? I think Beach and Ginger are the type of team to switch it up. Yeah. Yeah. I like this is just the comfort pick. Though um, I I think so the the scary thing was like ice was everywhere. He's all over the screen. It's like maybe Maybe they want to isolate him, give a, give themselves a little more space. Like, want to isolate him? Yeah, isolate him. <laughs> good, good job. <laughs> nice one, number Sick. nine. Sick. All right. Um, I'm not sure. Yeah. Also, you know, so Ginger isn't this kind of player, but I feel like a lot of the time I see Falco players and teams like love the platforms. Like they move around the platforms all the time. Whenever they're in danger, they just immediately move to the top platform and then they move to where the action is like through like platform movement. Holy that was really shit. smart, yeah. yeah. Cause like Duck isn't gonna be able to grab him when he does that. Yeah. And like run in and do an aerial, so it was actually really safe. Yeah. Oh, nice. Oh, great smash GI by uh, Ginger. Oh, Ice in a sticky situation right now. Uh, everyone's up <laughs> they, they did. They did the right thing conceptually. Uh, Beach knocked Duck away and they wanted to go edge guard Ice, but Ice made it really hard for them. Yeah, also Ginger definitely just like up beat. That should be... Uh, okay, he, it managed to work out because Ginger locked him down with the Falco laser and then Beach got the forward air off. I don't know if that yeah. was intentional, but it was pretty sick. You know, even though I think it's the right way to play against this team composition, yeah. we've really seen um, Ginger and Beach have the most success when they were just running down and killing Duck and almost kind of like ignoring Ice at the beginning of game one. Yeah. And I think they're just distracted by the fact that like Ice is kind of shrinking them right now. Wow, that, like, was, that was a sick pickup from Duck, the awareness to go in for the Nair right there. Yeah. I think they almost need to like, like you're going to lose some stocks to Ice that, you know, once in a while, especially with this team composition. Like, it's really hard for like Sheik Falco to run over and approach Fox. Yeah. And I think if they were doing more job like pushing away the Samus and hitting her off stage first and then going for Ice, they would be doing a lot better. But their, their strategy seems to be working out better in Game 3. The hard thing is that when they do end up getting the opportunities on Duck, like they, or sorry, when they end up getting the opportunities on Ice, they finally open him up duck is right there to hit someone like off the stage or like make some yeah. chaos like nice. wow. duck is doing a very good job staying close to ice even though it's very hard for sam's to get involved a lot of the time like she's kind of slow to, like you know um yeah he, he's doing a good job getting involved oh my yeah God. wow holy di he's dead. he actually died at 46 from the, that was a good choice smash. by um by beach though he went really high and just fell down giving ginger like an easy place to laser but ginger unfortunately got like drill shined right when he went up there so ginger couldn't help him out stay sure working on despite beach dying super low percent this is pretty close yeah but they just lost two stocks yeah. really quickly really big swing ice just kind of removed the stocks from the game and crazy uh <laughs> crazy ledge antics by duck he immediately gets to the side platform and up to the top i actually don't know what he did there but it was pretty cool he probably just used his big brain <laughs> got out of the situation. And every time Ice is on stage 2, they both immediately go to edge guard him. They like want the kill so bad and then Duck is right there and like like kind of like smacking them around like yeah. distracting them, making it very hard to get the edge guards. Here it is again. Okay. He almost saved him. Yeah, he almost that. almost got him. But... Oh, nice edge guarding by Ginger. Oh, but he gets shined. Oh, he lived. 
Not out of the woods yet. Ginger loses the stock. This is actually really bad. I don't think you want the Falco having the only stock. Really? I, I, I feel like you'd rather have the Falco than the Sheep. Well, like, because if you look at Fox, I think you'd rather have the, the Falco, but, like, I'm looking at Duck here. And I feel like even if Ginger takes care of Ice somehow, I don't know how he's doing. Yeah. Well, good shit to beat Ginger getting this far. They, they had a hell of a round. They yeah, beat, second place. beat Nightmare and Coffee Black, beat Abu and KJH. Yeah. That's that's a run they can be proud I mean, of. Like, Anther and Shade and TM and MB were here too, so yeah. that's like a really good result. Yeah. We're going to move over to singles in a minute. Sad that my singles pool. Didn't, uh, there were some good matches in my pool, so I'm kind of sad it didn't go on stream. How did your pool go? Um, I beat Walrus and Dempt, and I made it out in winners. Oh, nice. Yeah. Good shit. Thanks. Uh, what about you? Uh, when Dempt was complaining about Yo-Yo earlier, he also said, like, he's like, yo, I'm really not trying to lose to Heartstrings. Oh, did he say that? Yeah. <laughs> oh, <laughs> that yeah. sucks. Get, get body, <laughs> yeah. What's yeah. up, chat? Damn. My pool was really weird. I I had trouble. I had trouble with Fox, which like usually doesn't happen for me a lot. For me a lot. Did, I basically put it on a losing. I trip? messed up everyone until I got to Tran, and then lost to Tran, and then I yeah. messed up everyone in losers until I got to Paz, and then lost to Paz. Oh, I got you. Yeah. 